Dave here at Russo's RV Center in Lakeville, Massachusetts. Today we're going to be looking at a 2021 Rockwood Ultralight 2706 WS. WS stands for Wardrobe Slide. With me today, an old friend back at Russo's, Derek. Hello, Derek. Hello. How's it feel to be back? Amazing. Really good to be back on the Russo's team. Always. Where you belong, right? Exactly. <laughs> awesome. Fantastic. Derek's going to be my helper today. I know there's a lot of viewers out there that are very excited about that. All right, Derek, let's take a look at this bad boy. So, right. two 30 pound bottles, power jack. You can see, we have the uh, battery box hooked up, but normally you'd have your batteries where the hooked snow up is. where the snow is. And there is that disconnect switch underneath the, uh, the, the bottles there. Nice feature, we got the front docking light. On and off, can't really see it during the day, but it's there. You want to open up that massive storage compartment? Sure. Wow, look at that. How many people you think you could put in there? Eight. Yeah, I'd say so. All right. Probably. You see the aluminum construction. Rockwood does not use wood anywhere that's going to hold weight. They're going to use aluminum in how they're building. We'll check out the other side. We'll talk about those cranks. But this one, we went and got the slide toppers. Strongly recommend slide toppers. Protect against uh, leaves, rain. And with the Rockwoods, a lot of times in a unit, you either don't have windows, or if you do, they don't open. But in this case, the Rockwood has uh, windows that actually do open on both sides, so you can get a nice cross breeze. This particular model, just because it's set up, it does have a galley tank. This is the um, <clears throat> this is the the front tank for the kitchen sink. It's only for the kitchen sink, so it's going to take a while to fill. It's over 30 gallons. Another storage compartment. Now this one is around the dinette, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yep, it actually goes in over there. Thank you. All right, here's where all the action happens. You have your water hookups, city water, black tank flush, antifreeze inlet, fresh water fill for the tank. These ultralights come standard with a 50 amp service. Derek, do you know why? AC. Yeah, for the second AC, yeah, yes. that's right. So they can have a, the capacity for, for two air conditioners. Next to that, we have a shower, outside shower, and very practical LED light. For when you gotta come out at night. Your main uh, sewage connection, your black and gray tanks right here. You can see the gray valve on the right, black on the left. This is for your bathroom, shower. Okay. Oh, what is this? An unexpected storage compartment. I didn't know this was here. So this is actually new for the 2706. This did not used to be there, which is pretty sweet. That bed actually lifts up. Let me can show you when we go inside. So you actually have even more storage space inside there. That is a ton of storage. So you have that huge pass-through storage and this additional storage now. That's crazy. How do you feel about it, Derek? I can't handle this information. Yeah, it's too much. Too good. All right, so now we're going to move on to the ladder. We have a standard ladder to get to the roof and it is a solid walkable roof very important for cleaning and maintenance this is going to be an outside kitchen thank you Derek's going to show you we have a two burner cooktop hooks up to the propane line underneath thank you very good and that is an electric refrigerator Thank you, Derek. Hello. Very good. In the 2706, is, uh, the length of the body, they actually split up this awning into two awnings. So uh, about halfway through, they, they end the first one and you get the second one. So you can have them both out or you can just have one at a time. Maybe you're just working on, on the outside kitchen here and you want to have some coverage, but you don't have to put them both out. It's nice to have that option. Over here, you got the griddle location. Also comes with a table next to it and a TV mount. Honestly, a little awkward position for that TV mount, I think, right next to the 
awning um, arm, but for a small TV, that would work fine. Outside speaker, get the amber light for the outside. Gas electric water heater. And let's just check out the pastor storage yes. here. Thank you. In the bag is that 50 amp power cord, the griddle in the bag, and then in the box, I mean. And then we have these two crank handles. Derek, do you know what they do? What they're for? One of them is for the slides. Yep. Right. Yeah, that's that's and the, the that's the long is, one on the bottom. Yeah. The other one, the top one, is for the jack on the front. That's right. That top one is uh, if you had to crank up the or down that front jack if you didn't have uh, electricity or if the motor died on you. God forbid. You do have the option to manually crank it up and down. This is a motion sensitive light. You have different settings for it. Different. Um, you can actually make it not motion sensitive. I believe you turn it one way or the other. But yeah, get that on. So the stabilizers on the ultralights are standard power stabilizers. Don't oh, get a little snow. But yeah, so you got the switch here, up and down. So these are designed when one side hits, stops until the other side goes down. When there's equal pressure, right when there's equal pressure, you let it go. All right, Derek, what do you say we head inside? Oh, I think that's a dandy idea. All right, let's check it out. So the first thing I want to point out is that we are looking at the chocolate interior, which is the darker of the two options, the other option being stone. The wood that you see is... This is the Newport Ash. This is the option now. The standard is the slate wood, which is darker, but the option is the lighter. Newport Ash. What do you think of the Newport Ash, Derek? I like it a lot. Yeah, I like it. I like the lighter interiors too. But it I makes think it's it feel a, more roomy. Yeah, I think it's a nice contrast with the the darker furniture. Speaking of which, we have the. Um, this is an option on this model. This is the theater seat. Derek, do you want to just show the how the theater seat reclines? Yes. Very good. And then actually I should go back if you lean back. No, not in that. Oh. Yeah, you got to lean yes. me up and then it goes pretty much flat. That is nice. Yeah. I like that. I'm going to take a nap after this. And then in the middle console, I think you have some hookups. Yep. And you got an outlet and then two USB. And then on either side, you do have some storage access. Very good. Now, they got rid of the original um, theater seats that they had last year. They had the option for a massage, heater. Now, do you know, Derek, what the buttons do? Lumbar. Lumbar support. That is correct. So what it does is it inflates this cushion to give you a little bit more back support. Another thing they've added, and I think this is really, um, they're not functional lights in, in terms of being able to read at night. That's not, they're not reading lights, but I think what they are is if you're watching a movie and you have like food or your drinks and you want to actually see your hands in front of your face, uh, you can put those lights on. They're kind of like mood lights, yeah. but they're actually, they're actually, they do serve a little bit of a purpose, sort of like being in a they movie a theater. Plug on them too. Yes, they do. That's right. There's that USB. So you have tons of places to charge your phone. I think there's one in the bedroom too. We'll see. So that is an option. I think I mentioned high to bed is uh, the standard, but that would be the option. And then you have the U dinette, which converts to a bed and um, storage underneath each one, a couple of drawers. All right, Derek, can you just lift up that bottom just so we can see the inside shot of that storage? And then it does latch up. So look at that. That's awesome. That's tons of space. And then now that you can access it from the back, you don't have to worry about reaching too far. Yeah. Fantastic. And then when you're not using that, you're using it as a bed. It's a double, a double bunk. You can sleep two people on, on each bed and you got four. This yeah, unit, right cool. the way it's set up right now, I mean, this unit, you do two, two, that's four. You got two in the bedroom, six. You got at least one more here. So you get at least seven with this setup. Go with the hide a bed, you can add two more. 
can get like nine people in this sleeping in this thing. Fantastic. All right. Television right across the way from the theater seats. So you get a nice shot of that. DVD player. Nice speaker. Bluetooth, yep. Yeah. Speakers underneath the TV, yep. Yeah. And then electric fireplace. Functional. Actually, it's like a space heater, really. Not a ton of space under these cabinets. You know, it doesn't go very deep, but it's something. But on this side, you can see this. Here's your control panel for your slide rooms, the awning, the water heater, water pump, and interior lights. Thank you. But here's where the real fun is, Derek. Let's open oh, up this. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh. Look at this. Talk about storage. Can I tell you I didn't know this was here? It's pretty, pretty <laughs> awesome, right? And then you have um, tons of shelf space. Use it as a pantry. And you can hang your coats. And Wow. Fantastic. And a motion light. Yeah, it's a motion sensitive light. For your kitchen, come standard with a gas oven. Three burner cooktop. We have a two sided um, stainless steel sink. And a little bit more storage up here for, you know, food or maybe some small pans. Thank you. The refrigerator in here is the standard gas electric. This is eight cubic feet. So it runs on propane or 110, depending on what you have. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, so Derek has set up the countertop extension because what do you need in an RV? You need more counter space. It's very important. Plenty of space under there, too. Thank you. Yep. All right, let's check out the bedroom with the wardrobe slide. Yeah, that's a better shot. <laughs> Thank you. This is for hanging clothes. Thank you. And then above the bed, we do have some more storage. And on either side of the bed, there are drawers and shelves shelf space along with some charging ports and both sides have charging ports and actually that one's not a drawer that's just a Hold on. Yeah. and there's a tv mountain spot ah uh, yes good point there is a mount for the tv if you wanted to get a tv in the bedroom and then the, there's storage under the bed too you want to lift that up thank you a little bit of storage and then a couple of drawers underneath that We haven't really talked about it, but there is that second entry door into the bedroom. Right there. Okay. All right, so we've got a wide shot of the 2706. What do you think, Derek? I like it. You like it? Oh, yeah. Good for a family, yeah. certainly. Uh, total length on this, 32 feet, 10 inches, I believe. Yes. Hitched a bumper. Dry weight, a little over 6,000 pounds. Yeah. All right, let's check out this bathroom. This is one of the highlights of this unit. A great shower setup. Plenty of room. Got the... You have room, your arm, you're not you're not constricted in there. You actually have room to move around. We got the shower miser. I think that's what you're that's, trying to say. Yeah. The shower miser. Toilet. Nice. Plenty of leg room with that toilet. Yes. A little bit of counter space on either side, but a shelf nonetheless. That is actually, you know what, Derek? Open that up again. Okay. That is access to the water pump um, and filter. It's actually important to know. Soap thing. Yep. And then a little medicine cabinet. Top, awesome. So yeah, nice bathroom and a window. Slide rooms are closed, so now we can see what is accessible and what is not. We can access the refrigerator if we need to get into there, which is nice. You actually get all the way to where the bedroom starts. You certainly cannot get into the bedroom from back here. But one nice thing about having two entry doors is you can get into the bedroom from outside still. You just can't get get there from inside. Get in the bathroom. Oh, can you? You can still get in the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, well, that's great. So you can still access the bathroom as well. So those are the most important things. Bathroom, fridge, bedroom. You can still access all of them. The back beds, of course. Yeah, a little tight in here otherwise, but I don't think you'd be spending too much time in here if you had to pull over, but you can at least use everything. 
All right. Well, thanks for your help today, Derek. Great to have you back at Great Russo's back. Russo's RV Center. I had a number of people over the last uh, five, six months ask for you. Well, I'm back. Is Derek from the videos here? Well, Derek from the videos is here. Yes, he am. is back. So thank you, and we'll see you in future videos, hopefully. So this is the 2706 WS Rockwood Ultralight in stock at Russo's RV. We actually have some inventory, about a dozen units right now. But uh, yeah, check us out, Lakeville, Mass.